today, of course, is the cat fight in Britain. Because it just so happens that Rupert Murdoch's girlfriend is questioning his former girlfriend with his wife in the presence. Oh, that could be a good reason why he showed up today. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And Bill Clinton favors the Republican balanced budget views to that of his tax and spend party's view. I know. <laughs> Basically, the party is not happy with Bill Clinton saying that. But he did say that neither the Republicans nor the Democrats will ever stay within their means unless they're forced to. And the Democrats really hate that because that's the truth. And Parliament Committee questions Rebecca Brooks on the phone. Well, but like she said, that uh, the problem comes, it doesn't make any difference that the orders were not given. The publication was collapsing and people's jobs were dependent upon getting the circulation up. And he said the bad thing about it was the circulation went backwards. It just got worse because newspapers are out. And NLRB set to pass make a hundred L Union Act. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, make America. Make America 100% Union. Basically, uh, you have 10 to 11 days after they decide to become a union for the for the election to be held. That's, you know, so uh, it, every business in this, you know, they said before the next election, every business in this nation would be unionized, except for the fact that it won't stand up in a court because they're supposed to be, um, they're supposed to be impartial, to be, uh, well, or it happened to be labor relation union lawyers. So it makes it totally partial. Harry Potter's worldwide sales seems more a short-term spell. Oh God, I mean, it, they said there's never been a number one movie that fell off as rapidly as Harry Potter did. They said, well, we knew it because we saw $43 million gross at midnight and then uh, $50 million gross the rest of the day in, in 600 more theaters. So, you know, so basically what that told us is that everybody that really was coming out to see it yeah. saw it, the midnight showing, and then the rest of the day. And then after that... Yeah, but well, the well, next two days averaged less than $30 million a day. Oh, that's true, because U.S. sales were like 168, and they came in, what, with 90 million sales? Was that just... Yeah, 98 US? million the first day, which meant the rest, the next two days were... Was 70 million. And they said, actually, they said Sunday was the worst day of the bunch because it came in at about... 20 some million so. Mm. And mark it up on announcement that Fox will soon be no more and talk radio to be shut down. Yeah, that's what they're all talking about in there. That's why it's being carried, the hearings in England, because Obama basically has the FBI investigating it. He's asked the FCC to look into the suspension of their broadcast licenses. Well, wait their, a minute. We have nothing to do with them. It doesn't make any difference. Obama. Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. He's using that, what happened in England, as a reason as to shut down the As a reason to protect Americans' uh, rights uh, of free speech uh, by shutting down everything that he doesn't agree with. Can, can, can we say dictator? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what he's going to control? And very within the next few weeks, he'll totally control every inch of the media in this country. I, I, that's why when you have, okay, this is for a good example. Britt Hume is old enough to retire. Britt Hume is now kissing the rear end of the Democratic Party, and this guy was an impartial reporter. Well, the Republicans should have known better. If the Republicans had been veterans, they wouldn't have done this. I think he wanted to keep his job. He wants to keep a job somewhere with Fox going out. And Fox is on the way out. With, with, as long as Obama's president, Fox is basically on the way out now. Which and is probably another reason why Glenn Beck went his own way. Oh, that could be. Well, no, but he's, uh, contracts prohibit him doing what he's doing, which, uh, which is to start to work immediately after. Generally, there's a, you can, six months can be in certain people's cases. You know, it's right. a minimum of 90 days, maximum of a year. He went to work the very next day on his own system. Yeah, I thought you couldn't do that. Can't do that, which means... Uh, oh, wait a minute. If they terminated the agreement with him, then the, the agreement's null and void. They terminated the agreement with him. Which means which he doesn't mean, need to buy it. He was it. supposed to work until... His his contract was not up until next year. Which means he doesn't need to abide by the agreement at all. They didn't have to abide by it, so he went back to work immediately. See, they would have been better off just Well, it was a mistake of Obama getting rid of a person that was a nuisance to him that was effective when he was getting elected. He created a guy that's got his own empire now 
who will sit there and fight him? Him and Rush Limbaugh firm I mean, against this presidency trying to shut down the, uh, the Christian right. And new rules on the internet by the FCC to give the net to be ran by those most responsible people, responsible to the people, the newspapers and the three major networks. Isn't that amazing? I mean, these people are really responsible to the American people. They, they don't care about what the American people think. They, all they care about is simply keeping their power. And now Obama, the FCC is preparing to simply turn the internet over to them, lock, dock, and barrel. And Obama's tilt right could sting in 2012. What tilt right? This guy is so far left that they said they said he is so far left that um, Teddy Kennedy wouldn't recognize where he's at, and Kennedy Ooh. was to the left. Ooh. Well, he's the left of Kennedy now because he's okay. The unions are. He's about to turn the whole country into unions. He's about to shut down freedom of speech. He's about to force people to buy government things. I mean, that is about as far as you can get, folks. And the courts aren't stopping him. And Democrats shouting Jim Crow over having to have an ID with you to vote. Okay. Okay. I mean, I heard him. Okay. The other day, Bill Clinton walked into this bit. They simply asked Bill Clinton. Uh, can you prove your your President Clinton? He said, "Well, yes." He said, "Do you have a driver's license?" He said, "Yes." Uh, do you have um, Do you have any other sort of ID besides a driver's? Well, yeah, I have a voter registration card. He said, "How did you get?" Well, I presented my ID, and he said, "In other words, it's all right if a white guy has to prevent it, present an ID to get a voter registration card, but if you're black, you don't have to." He said, "No, it's just Jim Crow laws." It's just what? It's Jim Crow, which means it's laws put in by Jim Crow in order to keep black people from voting. Okay. But he himself said he had to present his ID to get his voter registration card, but he doesn't think that black voters should have to have an ID because, well, as we all know in the last election, they voted for six months. I don't think they ever gave me a card. Yeah, well, they do have voter registration cards that you can get in some states. Well, I just vote. I know, but you still have to have identification with you, don't you? Well, you're supposed to, but part of it is they all know me. I know. Well, you can go with the glasses. But, no. but they said until Obama started running for president, it was a requirement in the nation you had to have identification to vote. Now Obama, okay, they put it this way, since you can register the day of the election now in many states controlled by the Democrats, you could come in from, you basically you could have people walking in going, and they would be allowed to vote. You, can you, you know, Spoken the English? Mm. Nine. A uh, common tell you vote? No. Hey, uh, uh, you know, she have less for you? Yeah. You know. Well, you know, when you go to vote, I think they have it in 21 different languages. Uh, 100, they're basically in the country, I think, in 129 different languages. Oh, is it? I mean, it was Across just... the nation. All I know is it was so ridiculous when they said, okay. oh. Every they, know, they said, do you want an English vote? I said, yes. And, they say, well, and I said, how many ballots do you have? And they said, well, we've got all these languages here. Yeah, but they said uh, only in states controlled by Democrats are there multilingual ballots. Everywhere else they make you vote in English because they do not let you vote in, in English in France. They don't let you vote in English in oh, Germany. They don't let you vote in, in, in Yugoslavia in, in England. Well, I always figured if you can't read it in English, you haven't read all the issues anyway, and you don't understand what you're doing. I know, but a lot of people, they don't care. I mean, uh, we went to a, a thing the other day, actually, we went to a, a, we won't tell you where, we went to get a brand new computer, and you've got a bus driver talking in Spanish to the help there. She's basically, uh, as far as I can understand, figure she couldn't speak English. She well, we to we've find, seen that in a lot of different she could places. Not, she had to find someone in the place that spoke Spanish. This is a bus driver, folks. Oh, really? Had to find someone that spoke Spanish so she could buy a computer. Ooh. Yeah, that's what you want driving our buses. If people, you know, like, uh, look at the sign. Uh, a number of, uh, a number, uh, okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, yeah, yeah, it's visual. They don't have to read it. That's right. And Obama saves the stock market today with his condemnation of the Republicans, Bush, and the anti-American Tea Party. Oh, I that something. They said that he is going to hang. He's going to. He's going to use this thing no matter what. Millionaires and billionaires. Of course, millionaires started two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and. Oh, they're going to take away the exemption on all homes owned by millionaires and billionaires. 
guess what price the home starts at for a millionaire? How much? $250,000 is what they classify a home that a millionaire lives in now. What's the average price of a home? In California, it's about $750,000. Mm -hmm. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, dictators can be called by many names, but they're still dictators.